it's amazing what you see. You see the wildlife, you see the trees in a different light, you see the sky, you see the clouds. Quite magical, really. Yes, dynamic sky above and serene horizontal lines below. Love it. Mind expanding, I think. Um, the openness here. We've got a huge horizon. I think we counted seven windmills just now. And they're lost in this landscape. Churches, a lot of history spread out, big wide canvas. Well, it's an easy walk, which I think is really handy to know because it means you can really concentrate. You don't have to be watching your feet all the time. It's very accessible. There is, I think there's quite a variety of landscape. Well, walking is relaxing anyway. This area is safe. You've got pubs around, so you haven't got to worry too much about refreshment. It's just very relaxing, gets rid of the headache, takes you back. So I must admit, I, I drive a lot through the town and it's only when you walk that you actually realise some of the things there are and every time I walk through town I see something I haven't seen before. They have all the signs on the shops that show there was a cobbler's yard and there was a bake house and it must have been really thriving in those smaller streets that now have turned into private houses and it, there's something for everybody I think and the, the walking is quite easy and you can walk a long way or you can walk a short way. Uh, I think it's just ideal for a holiday and I just think, why haven't I been here before? There's a lot of history, a few churches, that sort of thing. But there's also parts of it that are um, villages, go way back. So you can see how, how East Anglia was and the kind of people that lived there. Um, get out away from the roads and discover small intimate places um, which you can really only access by foot. I really like it because it just shows how the world can be natural in places where you get all the bustle of cities. You get the natural part of the world as well. I particularly like the secretive looking woods with the darkness with the bound trees covered in ivy, with the lovely ferns and things growing off the floor. Oh, fabulous, really. I think if you're here for a weekend, for a day, um, put your trainers in the back of the car, put your walking boots in and just head out for one mile, two miles, 50 yards. You know, there's always something to see. It's quite beautiful. <laughs>